Fish, LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and the YouTube channel, man. Just keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. The Detroit Lions offense versus the Jacksonville Jaguars defense, Dern. What is situational football you want to see for these matchups coming forward? Well, just like last time, like two weeks ago when we were on, the Jaguars defense, like the Saints, are really bad versus the tight end. You would think that they'd be throwing the Hawkinson a lot more because when they do, he makes a big play. He catches mm -hmm. almost every single thing that goes his way. Um, I... I agree with the chat. I think Swift needs to see the ball more. Yes. Um, they're only using him like a Theo Riddick, which I think he's much better. Our offensive line is producing pretty good running lanes. Mm -hmm. and I think that he can thrive. We need to run the ball more. It's just plain and simple. Um, they don't have that great of a defense, in my opinion. No. You can pass the ball really well on them. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah. I, I was watching um, the fantasy footballers, and they said Stafford's the starting quarterback of the week because they're that bad over Kirk Cousins versus Atlanta Falcons, which I think they're really bad too, but Stafford should rewrite the ship and get it going this week. Okay. So he, you're, you're talking about Stafford has the advantage for the middle of the field targeting using tight ends. So we're, we need to see a lot of TJ Hawkinson. We need to see a lot of Jesse James exploit the middle of the field versus the Jacksonville Jaguars defense. Mark, what say you? What is a matchup, key matchup you're looking for, a Lions offense versus the Jaguars defense? I'm looking for, like Dern said, I'm looking for Stafford to eat big time. I'm looking for these wide receivers – to finally prove why they were ranked so high at the beginning of the year. Why Galladay and Marvin Jones were supposed to be this crazy good duo. You're going up against a pretty bad secondary. You are. They give up a ton of yards and points. They do. They're they're one of the worst defenses in the league, believe it or not. Overall, they're worse than us, if you can believe that. Overall. They're like ranked 30th and like we're like 28th overall. But against the pass, they are terrible. They can't cover wide receivers, tight ends. I want to see Marvin Jones finally show up to a football mm -hmm. game. Yes. Right? This yes. is his coming out party yes. this, this, this week. If he can't do it this week, I don't know when he's going to do it. Because the, Stafford should be having – this should be a field day. Because they have a pretty good – they have a couple guys that can get to the quarterback, but – they got some injuries going on. But that secondary is extremely weak in Jacksonville. Stafford, Marvin Jones, Galladay, Amendola, Hawk, they should all be able to exploit that secondary because they they just can't cover anybody. They can't. They give up a lot of points, just like we do. Uh, they're just below us, actually. I think they give up like 29 points, something points a game as a, as a defense. So we should be exploiting that secondary. I'm looking for Stafford and the wide receivers to eat all day. That's what I want to see, especially Marvin Jones. Ote Champ, he is a, a Saints fan. In 15 minutes, we're going to go to you guys for questions. And guess what? You don't have to be a Lions fan. You can talk about the Saints, you can talk about whatever. Um, and we will go to you, John Kapler, what's going on? I'll check that out after the matchup that I'm paying attention to. And I want to caution people here because there's two linebackers Defensive players that's very good from the Jacksville Jaguars, one being Miles Jack. Yeah. Miles Jack has 37 tackles in his that's battle true. buddy as 38 tackles. 38 tackles! Guess what? Those two has, has beaten us in tackles for our, our whole our linebacking court and defensive line. So we need to be he need to be cautious when it comes to Matthew Stafford exploiting the middle and throwing to the tight end. He needs to stand in the pocket and not throw off his back foot. Because guess what, folks? If he doesn't do that, we can get turnovers. And they can get turnovers. Just because we're getting these yards on these guys, it doesn't mean we can't be cautious. Because if Matthew yeah. Stafford throws errant throws, 
we will get turnovers because these guys can ball out. They do have a weak secondary. That is, again, something that I noticed. And I do believe Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones Jr. will get theirs. But Marvin Jones Jr. needs to show up. TJ Hawkinson, Danny Amendola. Those are the two guys that you're probably going to see get the most targets today. And DeAndre Swift out of the backfield if they use him consistently like we've seen as somewhat of a wide receiver. That's what I want to see is them target. But I want to see Matthew Stafford. Don't do Aaron throws. Be cautious because if you turn the ball over like you have done in the past, we're going to lose football games, and that's hashtag facts. And yes, yes, go ahead. Jones does not play well this week. Do you put Cephas in over him from now on? If he, it, it, I would like, I would like to see the film first to see if he's getting separation because it may be the fact that maybe Matthew Stafford's not seeing him. So yeah. if he does not get a lot of touches, I will go into the film to see is he getting separation at the line of scrimmage? Is he getting separation past the defender? Is this a Marvin Jones Jr. issue or is this a Matthew Stafford issue? Mm-hmm. That is a fantastic question, good, and that is something question. that I am going to jump into as soon as I get reminded to. Um, So yes, this is something we have to look at. And it's interestingly enough because he has been part of trade discussions. His amount is around nine, a little over 9 million right now for for his contract for the Detroit Lions. However, the dead cap hit is a little over 1 million. So not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Let's talk about the Detroit Lions defense versus the Jacksonville Jaguars offense. Mark Oram from Oram's Forum. What is a key matchup you're wanting to see for the great Detroit Lions defense that is just stops everybody versus the Jacksonville Jaguars offense? (laughs) Man, um, I want to see our defense. I want to see our defensive line and our linebackers step up like like Dern has said too. I'll piggyback off what Dern said earlier. Um, linebackers aren't aren't doing squat. They're not stopping the run. And Jacksonville has a pretty good running back, James Robinson. Undrafted mm-hmm. kid came out of nowhere. Yes. I don't know where 333 this, yards. Yeah, I don't know where this kid came from, but he's a pretty good running back. Um, yep. he runs really hard, catches the ball well in the backfield. I don't know who's gonna be able to cover him. Uh, Jamie Collins, okay, I hope. But I want to see this D-line stop the run because if you can stop the run, you you should be able to succeed in the pass. The one right. thing that we have been doing well as a defense, believe it or not, is we have been okay with stopping the pass. But I think it's I think it leads to is that teams don't really pass a lot on us. If you notice that, they don't have to. They don't have to because they run the ball down our throats. They literally, they literally just pineapple the ball right down our throats. They don't even, like, you don't have to throw against us. No. So I, so I want to see our defense force Minshew to throw the ball a lot, because I like Minshew as a quarterback. He's a gamer. I mean, he's got that swagger. But if he gets into a bad habit of throwing a lot, he he makes a lot of mistakes. He can. He can make a lot of mistakes. So stop James Robinson. D line yes. linebackers make Minshew throw. That's that's what I want to see. They do have some good wide receivers though, but yes, they got they, do. But they got guys banged up. DJ Chark is banged up, who's probably not playing. Keelan Cole's pretty good. He's a, he's a touchdown guy, kind of fast. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so make him throw. Stop the run. Make him throw. This offense for the Jacksonville Jaguars is a little bit underrated. You're not they seeing are. a whole lot of talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars offense. But if you have not seen the matchup, my video, Lions versus Jaguars, make sure you check that out. Minshew right now has got 10 touchdowns, two four interceptions, 1,400 and some yards. Um, their running back has 333 yards, rushing over four point yards a carry. I am starting him on my fantasy league, and I expect if you guys have a chance to get him, do that as well. Yeah. LaVisca Chenault is their wide receiver. He is very good. He is good at separation, and he's showing out. So we need to pay attention to that. But Dern, what is a key matchup that you're looking for the Detroit Lions defense versus the offense of the Jacksonville Jaguars? Well, I'm looking at their injury report right now, and Tyler Eifert, their tight end, has a neck issue, and he did not practice again. Yeah. DJ Chark has an ankle in- issue. He did not practice. LaVisca Chenault did not practice yesterday, and he was limited today. 
I don't think those guys are playing this week. So once again, we're facing we, we might be facing a beat up offense. So we need to take advantage of it. We yeah. couldn't do it against the Saints. And Brandon Linder, their offensive lineman, did not practice yesterday, but he practiced today. So you don't know if he's going to play. Um, I, Minshew is not that good when he's getting pressure in his face. We need to blitz him. If we want to create turnovers, like we did a couple of weeks ago, we need to pressure the quarterback. Aquara should have a decent game. Stop overrunning the quarterback and just bring him down. Um, use Jared Davis. Yeah. Use him. He's the fastest linebacker we have. Take Christian Jones out. I thought I think I heard he was hurt anyway. So we just yeah. need to stop that run first and foremost. Yes, first and foremost is stopping the run. They're at, our defense is horrible against the run. They got a very good running back who is lighting it up. Again, 333 yards. He's got more than our running backs do. That's sad. I think that Minshew is a little bit underrated because he can roll out as well, and that is something we're terrible at when we rush three, and the quarterback just stands there, and then he can go out and gain a first down like we've seen throughout the year so far and throughout last year. When it comes to a player to watch for, if LaVisca Chenault is playing, I have a feeling he's going to play. We need to make sure he's locked down because he's actually doing very well as a young wide receiver. That's someone you have to watch out for. And they're running back. And obviously, um, Gardner Minshew, they can put up points and they can put up yards. And we have seen this through the Detroit Lions defense. The linebacking core has absolutely been atrocious. And this defensive line has been atrocious. If they continue to run the football, guess what they're going to do? They're going to do play action, roll out. And that's what we don't want to see against this defense. And I have a feeling it's going to hurt us. Now, we're going to get into the, again, in nine minutes, we're going to go to you guys for questions. It's the mailbag segment where you guys run the show. Again, if you want to ask us questions, hashtag Lions. Or if you're a Saints fan, like OT, do hashtag Saints. That's perfectly fine. And we'll get to your question there. Before we get to that, though, let's talk about prediction um, for the game, Dern. What is your prediction for the Detroit Lions versus the Jacksonville Jaguars? You know, once again, I think we should be able to win this game. It's a very winnable game. I thought we should have played much better versus the Saints because they were a beat-up team. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a high-scoring game. I will go... 33-27 Lions. Wow. Woo-wee, man. A little bit, little bit higher than I thought, but that's okay. That's okay. Is there – what do you think Stafford's going to get? Do you think he's going to get two touchdowns, one interception, three touchdowns? What, what, do you, what do you got for Stafford? Three touchdowns, zero interceptions, one fumble. Oh, fumble. I don't. Has he fumbled this year? I don't think so. No. Okay, uh, so his first fumble this year. I think, I think we think got it back. Yeah, okay, I think got he it lost back. one, but he, did, he got it back, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mark Orem from Orem's Forum. Ooh. Prediction for this game. Detroit Lions versus Jacksonville Jaguars. We're coming <laughs> off the bye week. And I've what been, do you think? Yeah, man. I've been I've been mulling over this in my brain for the past few days now, man. Um, I can't wait to do my video on it uh, on the preview uh, with this. Um, because <laughs> I'm really stuck on, on what the I think it's gonna be a shootout, like Dern says. And okay. I like I like the fact that, well, I don't like, like the fact, but there's a couple injuries, a couple big injuries. It looks like that Jacksonville might have a couple starters out, but we we already seen what that doesn't matter, though, against New Orleans. But they got some key guys, I think, that are going to be hurting them. Um, I still think it's going to be a shootout. Uh, I'm going to take the Lions in this one. I'm going to say the Lions. I'm going to go 37-31. I'm going to say it's going to be a big, it's, it's it's going to be a shootout, man, at the OK Corral, but in Duval. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you what guys I'm... think in the comment section? Yeah. Let me know. Give a prediction. Do a score prediction. Do you think the Detroit Lions are going to do it? Do hashtag Lions with the record. Do you think that uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars would get the win? Both teams are losing teams. You got one and four Jacksonville, one and three Detroit Lions. So let me know in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you guys say. And if you're watching this after the fact, throw a comment down with the score of the game. Go ahead, throw it in there. Let's turn this into a forum. I'm not taking it from Orem, but I like to make my channel a conversation so we get it and get into it 
as a fan base because why not? It's been a long year already, so let's talk about and have some fun doing so. For me, if you've seen my Detroit Lions versus Jacksonville Jaguars video, you already know what I predict here. And so when it comes to this game, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I think the Detroit Lions are going to score, I believe I had 19 points and Jacksonville Jaguars 23. I have the Jacksonville Jaguars winning this game 23-19. to 19. We cannot stop Ooh. the run, and I think that they are going to run the football, and it's going to be a, a fast game in a sense that the clock's going to get eaten up quick via run. I think that Minshew is going to get a get a couple touchdowns, and it's going to be one of those games where we're going to come back and say, we lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Terrible, terrible, terrible for us. But with Miles Jack, I think that you're going to see Matthew Stafford turn the ball over one time with an interception. It's going to be one of those games where the defense can't stop it. We're all frustrated, and the Lions lose. 19 to 23.